Hey, Don Copeland here with the MUTO uh, Expert Jet, the new series, the 461 UF. And today we're going to try something a little different. We're playing around a little bit. We're playing around with some light switches. And I'm looking here when I'm a little bit crooked. I'll straighten that out for us. And uh, this is what we're going to produce right here. Just a little bit of fun. This is a burl wood type of finish to the to light switch. You could do anything. I mean, we were, we were just looking online at different applications of this. One of them was a football. It was pretty cool. So the switch was right in the seam of the football. You could put a basketball. You could put an image of a baseball. Um, you know, for the holidays, you could do a Christmas theme. You know, things like that. All kinds of fun. You could change these out. I mean, they're not expensive, right? Uh, I think online we found people were selling them anywhere from six to ten dollar range, around seven, seven fifty average price. And um, our cost into these, I'm printing eight of them here. You could actually get sixteen on the bed at a time, but we only had nine, so <laughs> we just did eight. And uh, these were uh, about 3.7 cents, 3.6 cents a piece to print for ink. And if you buy these in like case size, you know, 10, 20 at a time, you're going to play, pay somewhere between, you say, 50 and 75 cents a piece for them. Easy to say you're under 80 cents a piece for them. If you sell them for 750 a piece, you're making almost $7 a piece. So, you know, even if we call it 650 and be fair with it, 650. We'll see what the print time is on these. I think it's crazy. I, I will point out that we are using on these. We did some testing and to get good adhesion, we've actually wiped these down with our compress. This is our AP. It's our standard adhesion promoter. Does a good job on a lot of plastics. And so you just take that. Just take a, take one of the lint-free cloths. We sell these on Coleman and Company as well. Wipe it down. Position it as I always do. Is I have printed out on the bed rectangles. To represent where I'm going to place each of these. And what I did, because this pattern is pretty consistent, I've actually then did a slightly larger print than the actual size of the switch so we get a full bleed over the edges of it. And I actually zeroed them between each other. So there's no space in between. So should something be off just by a hair, you won't see it and there won't be a, a white space. So this whole area actually would be printed as a rectangle, but it's the same pattern repeated eight times. All right, so I've got those loaded in. All right, I'm going to go ahead. I want to go ahead and slide this back real quick and set my height because I had just printed on the bed, so I need to bring this down a hair. See right over here, there's an orange light. When I lower it down enough, this is absolutely right there. Load it down, check it just to be certain. All right, there we go. Close the lid. Hit the set media light. Switch, what it's going to do right now is it's actually going to run through, it's going to check the height using that laser, make sure we're good to go for the print. One of the nice things with these new expert jets over the previous generation of the printers of value jets is if I were to get a, a fault on that while I'm printing, I can restart the print right in the, where it was and, and not lose the product. All right, it's set now. I've already sent the job over from the computer and it's going to draw back in and start printing these. All right, there we go, it's done. Um, looking at my clock, two minutes, 59.04 seconds. I'm gonna be generous and call it three minutes all day long, all right? So we, three minutes, we printed eight switches, and just being fair, let's just say that we went ahead and printed the whole bed. We would have done 16 switches in under six minutes, call it six minutes. <clears throat> I don't think you would have turned the machine around 10, 10 times, but nine times an hour at 16 is 90, what, 144, a gross, of, of these switches in an hour. They cost us about 60 cents for the blanks, four cents for the ink, and let's say a, a nickel for adhesion promoter. So we got under 70 cents into each one of these. On an average, we saw on, online for custom light switches like this, around seven to $8. So in fairness, let's just say $6 a piece. This is gonna be another one of those crazy numbers, Mark. If we do 144 of them in an hour at $6 a piece profit, that's somewhere in the area of what, $840, $850 profit per hour. You'd almost want to work two, two hours a day if that's what you were doing. But it's cool, I mean, these are things you could sell to your customers for them to, uh, to match up. What's the number? $864, wow. So uh, you could take these, you could do holiday themes, you could do sports themes, whatever you want, you know, kids, you little boy's room, you decorate it with baseball stuff and stuff like that. You could put Barbie-ish type of stuff, things like that in a girl's room. Uh, if you're cabin in the woods, a little bit of burl wood or whatever you're looking for. Uh, for Mark, we could put broccoli. 
Right, there we go. All right, so here we are, have it. This is on the Muto Expert Jet 461 UF. We're printing light switches. Took us three minutes to print eight of them at a cost of less than 30 cents total for all eight of them. And uh, just another fun, exciting way, a way you can offer your customers something new, something different. You know, get in touch with somebody who does remodels and whatnot. And uh, make money with your UV printer. I'm Don Copeland.